Hello everybody, Zach here. E3 day one is come and gone, and I'm gonna go over some of the things that I'm most excited about and some of the things that I'm either least excited about or not really excited about at all. So let's go. The first thing that I was surprised by was EA putting on a trailer for A Way Out. This is a Mafia GTA-esque game, um, and it looks really, really good. The graphics look polished. There was some cinematic and there's some actual gameplay in this trailer and it looks really good. Um, Prison Break co-op too. So like couch and online co-op. I think that's awesome. I think it's, we need to see a little bit more of that. I love single player experiences, um, but I also like to see um, more co-op. And this looks like a perfect balance of the two. And I'm really excited to see this. It's early 2018, according to the end of the trailer there. Something unique from EA and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Secondly, something I really didn't expect from Insomniac, nonetheless, is a new Marvel Spider-Man game that looks so much like the original PlayStation 1 games that I had as a kid. I'm, I'm super excited for it. The gameplay looked really smooth, um, and I know a lot of the scenes might be choreographed, and it, it's, it's a very small, um, or it's a, it's a small section of gameplay, but it was more than just a cinematic trailer. You know, we, we tend to only get cinematic trailers for games. This obviously has been in production. Looks really smooth. Combat looks really smooth. I, I didn't expect it at all. The only thing they said at the end was 2018. So we have that to look forward to. I loved the Spider-Man games as a kid on the PS1. Really, really loved them. They were so good, uh, at least for what I remember. So I hope I remember correctly. But I remember them being really good. And this one looks like it's going to be that. Graphically, it looked really really good too so i don't know what the engine is but man it looks good looks polished already and hopefully we can look forward to playing that next year and uh seeing more about it and and, and that's the thing that's so excited about e3 too we can see more of this game potentially the rest of sometime later in this year and uh i'm excited for that too so i'm gonna keep moving along with the unexpected i did not expect to see this from sony and this is Shadow of the Colossus. I was really not expecting them to basically be doing a remaster remake because it looks like it's going to be more of a remake um, than just a straight remaster. And in a good way, the graphics look amazing. And I was, I've always been hopeful that they would do this, but I didn't expect them to announce it at E3 this year. So good on Sony for announcing it at E3 this year, and I think, too, they said 2018, uh, coming 2018, so we have that to look forward to. So next year, as much as this year, so even so far, has been such a great year for video games, next year, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself if all of these games come out and, you know, hit their targets and everything. Uh, we've got an exciting 2018 ahead of us. And here's another Sony one, one that I feel like we've waited for more and more footage of, and uh, I know that there's been uh, betas on the PS4 of it, but that's Gran Turismo Sport. Um, I love Forza, uh, or Forza, however you want to pronounce it. I really love Gran Turismo, and it has a soft spot in my heart ever since I was a kid playing it on the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. And uh, the graphics look amazing, because of course they do. They always do a really good job with the graphics, and they always care about the look of the cars and everything. Um, but I'm excited to see some more gameplay footage uh, of Gran Turismo. I mean, that's the short story of it, right? I'm excited too. I hope that PSVR support, it, it doesn't seem like they're touting it as much lately, which means I feel like it's going to be less and less than what it initially was announced as like, you're going to be able to play the whole game in PSVR, but it still looks really good. And I'm hoping, you know, the amount of time that they spent the more and more time that they spent on it, that it's them just nailing down each and every detail. Um, so yeah. All right, and this next one is also a Sony exclusive and part of Sony's E3 press conference. And this is Uncharted The Lost Legacy, which I can't wait for. This comes out in August, so it's right around the corner. And I don't know, of course, visually it looks stunning. Um, looking forward to the story, looking forward to different characters and... Uh, I just, I just know that every time Naughty Dog does something, they knock it out of the park. Um, their games might not be for you, but man, do they, do they nail story, cinematic, um, and gameplay. 
and their attention to detail is just it, it's just unique to say the least uh, more and more companies strive to, to hit those marks but Naughty Dog always hits those marks, it feels, and uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be any different from any of those other games. So I'm excited to see that, and this trailer was just another reassurance that the graphics and the audio and everything just look look as they should from Naughty Dog. All right, and this was expected, but I didn't expect to be blown away from the footage like I was, and this is Far Cry 5. Um, I'm very, very impressed from the short amount of gameplay that we got. Of course, Ubisoft has been long known for showing off graphics that don't end up making it into the final game. That being said, more recently with Wildlands and uh, a few other things, they've been doing really well, at least at that hitting that mark for the PC version and uh, not really toning stuff down. So if this game looks like they showed off at E3, I'm super, super excited for it. Um, some people are saying, you know, the, the tone of it and, and some other things is controversial. I, I don't believe I don't believe that to be the case, at least in my opinion. I feel like it'll be unique. It'll be unique that it'll be in the United States. Um, if you want to be offended by it, fine. Don't play the game. Don't buy the game. Don't play the game. Don't support it. Uh, but I know I will be picking it up. It looks like it'll be a good uh, story-driven game. And uh, hopefully a Far Cry that I really, really want to play. Because I didn't, I didn't love, I didn't love the last two. And that's just me. Again, I didn't love the last two. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. And the gameplay looked really good. We'll have to see what happens when it releases. And on to what I'm not excited about. And I don't want this just to be a rant of... Against this, but I really wasn't excited for Microsoft's press conference on the Xbox One X. First of all, the name, uh, I mean, I guess I already had a problem with it when they called it the Xbox One. That's not the biggest issue here. The biggest issue is I didn't really see any games that I was super excited about for Microsoft. There's nothing that really looks like it's driving, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for 4K being brought to consoles. Uh, even if it is on the PS4 Pro, a little bit faked. And some of these things are going to be, you know, faked on the Xbox One X too. So I'm not saying that, you know, uh, everything is true 4K and all that stuff. But I didn't really get super excited for any of the stuff that I saw uh, from Microsoft and the Xbox One X. Um, it looks like they're really driving their platform to to push the limits of what a console can do. But for $499, for $500... That's going to be a hard sell. Even when the PS4 Pro, you know, people are complaining about the PS4 Pro not having like 4K Blu-ray support and a couple of other things. But at least the barrier to entry is less uh, with its cost. And the while the leap in graphic fidelity and a couple of other things might not be as dramatic as from, you know, the Xbox One to the Xbox One X, I almost feel like that's good. I almost feel like that's a good thing, as weird as it sounds. You know, there's going to be some good to a console that's pushing the limits. But I feel like you should just jump to PC if you're doing that. And that's the other thing, too. You know, we have all of these, we have all of these Xbox, quote unquote, Xbox exclusives that are coming to the PC that make it even less of a reason to get an Xbox One X. And of course, that was you know, even a problem prior to this with the Xbox One, with the, some of those exclusives coming out to the PC. But I feel like, really, honestly, it's even less of a reason to pick up this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too negative surrounding it. Maybe I'm, this is going to come off just being a Sony fanboy. But, uh, you know, Sony and, and some of its devs are really pushing the, the hardware inside of the PS4 and the PS4 Pro already and none of the games really look like they like if this if these are the like if minecraft and 4k is what they're really pushing I, I i personally don't get that i personally don't understand that so that's probably what i'm least excited about so far um you know ubisoft actually had a pretty good showing i wasn't super excited about the rayman or the rabbits uh mixed crossover with mario that's not really i like nintendo but that's not really my my cup of tea 
Um, and there were a couple other things that, on a, on a good note, that Ubisoft showed that I really didn't show in this that I'm still hopeful and I want to just see more detail for. They were just more like teaser trailers. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm most excited for so far. I intend to do more of these videos as the week goes on. We're going to have, you know, Nintendo's E3 coverage today. We're going to have some other coverage uh, coming out. And so this is not the end all be all of what I'm excited for. And I might even go into detail um, if they're, you know, if some of the other stuff is lackluster, I might even put some more stuff that I'm excited for or not really excited for in the next coming videos. So if you're looking for regular gaming content, it will be on the way back shortly. But I needed to get back into this. And E3 is actually <laughs> overall has looked decent this year, even though, like I said, there's only a few things that I was either surprised by or really excited by. So till the next video, I'll see you guys later. Like this video if you want more like this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. Follow me on social media as per usual if you want to know when I'm either going to go live streaming or if I'm going to have another, you know, a new video out and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.